And whose team is this? Is this your team? Or is this your daddy's team? Thanks for listening to the Dad Mode Podcast, common sense parenting in a politically correct world. Here's your host, Andy Carlson. Welcome back to the Dad Mode Podcast, Common Sense Parenting, the Politically Correct World. I'm your host, Andy Carlson, at Andy Carlson Show on the Tour Machine. I'm not a journalist, not a reporter. Crap, that's the other one. I'm a father. I have no idea what I'm doing, but you and either of their chiefies, so I'm just trying to learn something together today. Website is dadmopod.com. If you want to tweet us at dadmopod or just use the hashtag dad mode. So it's very exciting uh, today as we haven't addressed this yet, but the wife and I. Well, the wife, but I. Uh, we're having our second kid. Really fired up about that. And we found out about a month ago that it's going to be a boy. And don't get me wrong. Would have been extremely happy uh, if it was another girl. Um, and Margaret is probably the, the greatest thing uh, on this planet. And per, you know, this isn't the whole caveman knuckle dragging. Oh, I need a boy to carry on my family name. Otherwise, the house of Carlson shall fall. No, nah, it's nothing like that. But just having, just having one of each, and it's it sounds weird to say that, but just having one of each where you get the sampler platter of the children, I guess. It, I'm really excited about. It. And you know, we got our we got the name picked out. Uh, we're keeping that under wraps for now, but it's an old family name, but also it's extremely badass. So I'm really. Uh, just ready, ready to go about that. And you know, the the daughter, you know, the daughter and I have a very special relationship. Of course, you know, oldest kid, first one. You go through all the, uh, the bumps and bruises, the fits and starts, and, and whatnot. But you know, Margaret's amazing. I think we got super lucky uh, in the kid department because she's she's very chill and she's very understanding she's very empathetic she's very smart uh, about things and she's really she's really big in the critical thinking department where she you can tell her something and she'll hear you she'll understand but then she'll also think about it in another way and you know the whole cliche is like well my kids are raising me no, she she does teach me new things uh, every single day and i think she's gonna be an awesome big sister and it is funny throughout the process after you know, the wife found out she was pregnant uh, before we found out the gender and she's like, ah, it's going to be a baby sister. Are we going to name her star or magic or something like that? And it's like, those are kind of stripper names. I, I understand those were her names of her ponies. So she just wanted to impress that on, on the daughter, but eh, that's a destiny to the main stage, but also the, so the boy, we haven't told Margaret, the name yet because we think that Margaret will just tell people. And again, we're trying to keep it, um, you know, incognito for a while. Uh, so she just kept calling it, uh, baby buzz Lightyear, her baby brother buzz. So cute. So funny. Uh, and also we're, we're pretty fired up to see toy story four today. And, uh, so that's going down. That's actually a first movie theater movie for Margaret, uh, who just turned four, uh, just see, yeah, you, know, you don't want to be that couple that brings a baby to a movie theater, but I feel like around four or five, you know, they start understanding. Like, shh, gotta be quiet, gotta be respectful for uh, for other people, and you know, they also have the attention span, especially if it's something that they love, uh, like Toy Story, uh, that they can you know, sit there for an hour and a half. So uh, we'll see about that. But you know, with the boy. And yeah, it, it is the cliche thing because you, you got the dad and you got the boy, and there is a very special relationship there. You know, just like, uh, but it's different. You know, dads and daughters, it's much different. It's much more protective of uh, you know, looking after your daughters, and you know the cliche of you know the hawkish dad greeting the prom date with a shotgun. Actually, the logo of the show is a dad holding a shotgun in it. There you go. Uh, but the father and the son. It is more about passing on wisdom, how to be a man, how to be respectful, uh, how to be a, a leader, and how to get all these things done. And, and certainly, don't get me wrong, you can have all those, um, you can have all of those traits in a daughter, and certainly I plan on impressing those on Margaret as well. But it, it is just different with a boy, and you're seeing yourself 
you do see like a miniature version of yourself and especially this one's because we already got the ultrasound and, and we're not going to go do the 4d ultrasound because yeah get out of here it's also kind of creepy well a it's expensive insurance doesn't really insurance does not cover it and b it's kind of creepy it's like i'm the leprechaun but it's already got my nose which it's the korean nose it's flat it's a little bit roundish kind of pig nose ish it is what it is. Uh, Margaret has that nose, and from, just from the ultra sh- ultrasound profile of the boy, he's definitely got that too. So he's gonna look like me. And you know, Margaret. It, so I, I'm I'm a dark skin Asian, kind of like it because uh, I don't get sunburn. It's phenomenal. Uh, Margaret's pretty pasty because uh, the, uh, the mom is white. She definitely took after the mom. Like now, I I fully want a, a savage miniature version of myself. So I want a Korean dark skin pig nosed little 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 mini andy just running around just being a savage just eating steak completely buck naked and and that's just me and also the kid too yeah it's just i'm i i can't wait just all the fun things that you know father and sons do you know going fishing going to literally baseball games and you know take him to you know the first whatever game he wants to go to. If he wants to go to Vikings game, Twins game, Wolves game, hopefully not wild because hockey sucks. Uh, United, sure, why not? Soccer, cool. Yeah, it, it'll it'll be a fun time because I, I just remember having those experiences with my dad. And, and yeah, you know, nowadays I feel like I have to go back and preface this. Of course, we're going to have those same experiences with the daughter uh, if she's into that as well. But also, you know, we haven't really tested the waters with the daughter and sports yet. She really likes ballet. So that's a bonus. Uh, yeah, I'm not the, yeah, I'm not the dad. It's like, uh, ballet, that whole thing. I'm going to be the, the biggest ballet supporter. I'm going to tailgate the ballet. Screw that. That's right. I'm growing up some burgers. I got, got a couple cases of beer in the parking lot of the dance studio. <laughs> Might be frowned upon, but you know, but you know, with, with the boy, also, certainly going to get him into jiu-jitsu young, maybe some karate, maybe some, eh, probably not boxing, but ju- just all, all the fun things. You know, the teacher, oh, we're, we're going to build a tree house together. Just so, <laughs> it's just so uh, cl- cliched and, and funny. Uh, something that, that isn't funny, but something that definitely needs to be addressed is planning your estate. Trustandwill.com is estate planning simplified. Gain peace of mind, protecting your assets and family. 10 minutes online, so easy, and starts at 39 bucks. You can have guardianships, wills, trust in all 50 states. Uh, we did it, and it, it is so easy, and you just want that. As a parent, who's going to watch over your kids? What's going to happen to all your stuff after you die? Not, not that it really matters, but it matters to the people that you will leave behind. So trustandwill.com is so easy to use. Highly recommend that. Plus, if you go to trustandwill.com slash dad mode, you save 10% off your order. Again, trustandwill.com slash dad mode, save 10% off. Or trustandwill.com, use promo code dad mode and get the same thing. Either way, trustandwill.com slash dad mode, 10% off your order. Get some peace of mind and take care of, of your loved ones today so with the boy it was like looking at kyler murray where he, he's five seven if he's an inch and he's kind of five nine like they say five ten he's not five ten but j- just seeing it like the little guy number one overall pick in the nfl all of a sudden like that could be my boy because the wife not exactly blessed with height neither is her side of the f- uh, family and uh you know me being you know the five foot eight Asian on a good day. Uh, so this, this boy's probably not going to have a ton of height, but I, I'm, I'm going to be fired up for whatever he's interested in. And that could be sports. Great. If it could be comic books, great. If it's video games, awesome. If it's something that's not even been invented yet, great as well. Uh, I'm just really, um, I just feel, feel really grateful that I'm going to be able to have all these experiences and watch him grow up and help him along the way and give him much of advice that he probably won't listen to, especially during his teenage years as is pretty standard, but just developing good young men and good young women, uh, you know, with the daughter that are just going to contribute to society, uh, help lead this world, lead this community. And uh, I, it's, it's a great responsibility, but also 
it, it certainly is a privilege because I, I understand now why older people they seek out mentoring the next generation you know whether it be your kids whether it be someone else that's why teachers teach that's why coaches coach that's why people become leaders of scout troops because uh, they want they've absorbed knowledge throughout their life and throughout the way throughout their time they've had people pass on knowledge to them and they're just paying it forward and this is how human society human beings have done since the days of the mastodons like oh hey this is the best way to hunt a mastodon uh child i'm going to teach you this because i'm going to die because i'm 22 and that's the extent of our life expectancy in the mastodon days so i need to teach you as a 12 year old how to fell a mastodon so that our family our genetic lineage does not die during the next winter uh so that we may feed us and then at 14 you may sire your own son <laughs> man that's such a weird time it's not too far that's not too long ago though in the universe that's a blink of an eye but i'm just trying to think of so between my dad and my grandpa just learning how to cook a burger learning how to fix things around the house learning how to cheer for bad sports teams learning uh, a really good work ethic and just i, I want to press on the kid too that find something that you're passionate about find something that you love and you'll never work a day in your life. And we're we're not talking about like, Hey, if you really love eating mayonnaise out of a jar, it's going to be hard to make a career out of that. Although if you put that on Twitch, stranger things are popular on Twitch than that, but find something where you can make a living, but also where you're contributing to the lives of others and general positivity uh, in the culture and society. And then I think everyone's going to come out ahead because I mean, there's a lot of people out there, put out a lot of negativity, right? I just don't want my kids to be one of those people where just complain about everything, never offer any solutions. Like be, be a solution, be an answer person, you know, be a man or a woman who does have answers to questions and just always be thinking about solutions as opposed to just pointing out things that are wrong. Because, you know, that could be people pose themselves as being, oh, I, I'm such an intellectual. I'm pointing out all of culture's faults uh, and the faults of society as well. Well, how do we fix it? And, and also, don't have a vague answer. Because if you offer a vague answer, that means that when terms are met, you can shift the goalposts. As opposed to, hey, solution A will solve problem B, and let's get done, let's get A done. Whereas if it could be A, B, C, D, E, F, if there's actually positive change being done to the problem, and then all of a sudden it's like, well, what about F? What about G? We aren't done that, so it's still a problem, and, and I still have that power as the chimer of uh, pointing out what's wrong. Yeah, it's weird, but uh, it, with the boy just... <laughs> so Margaret's not really a big eater. And you know, she likes what she likes. She likes fruit. She likes some vegetables. She likes noodles, etc. And I feel like that's pretty normal, normal for a kid. But I mean, th- this boy coming in, it's like, it's want him to be a savage right away. Just like, hey, uh, hey, hey, dad, I, for my third birthday, I don't want a cake. I want a medium rare ribeye, just like charred, dark on the outside and completely blood red on the inside, uh, cooking at 550 degrees. Let's go. Let's go, Dad. Or may- maybe not, but uh, I'm <laughs> I, like you can tell. Just uh, I've been on cloud nine ever since we found out as a boy. And yes, we do have to backtrack. Of course, it was a girl. Love it. I'd be equally as excited. But it is just having one of each. It's great because we've had friends where, and it isn't just a, a gender thing either. Because we've had friends that have had boy, 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 or girl, 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 and just like. They're they're a little like they wanted to mix it up a little bit, and, and that's the conundrum that people find themselves in. Where if they have two kids and say they're both girls or they're both boys, and then they're like, "Well, we're planning on two. Do we try one more to see if we can get the other other side, or if we go girl girl boy or boy boy girl, or <laughs> are, are you gonna get uh, triples again? You gonna get tic tac toe girl 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 boy boy boy? 
And then, then yeah, the conversation again is like, all right, so we plan on two. Now we got three. Do we try four? Just try and get that other one. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm excited. Uh, this boy is going to be awesome. He's going to change the world. He's going to be the best Little League player ever. And also, I'm not, I, I promise I won't start a fight as a Little League game uh, like that Jabroni game over in Colorado. That was rough, but it happened. Also, I love the the folks that's like, oh, this should not happen. There should not be fights at Little League baseball games. Oh, no shit. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. Such a brave stance. So crazy. Mm. Uh, but thank you for tuning in. Uh, tell a friend. Spread the word amongst your dad groups, your parenting groups, whatever. Shows available on iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio. And uh, give us a follow on the old Twitter machine, at DabmoPod. Me, I'm at Andy Carlson Show. Website is DabmoPod.com. But we're out here next time. Be a man, be a father, go dad mode. We'll smile you later. Think the episode you just heard is worth a dollar? Well, send it our way. Visit dadmodepod.com slash support to find out how. Be a man, be a father. Go dad mode. The music is created and produced by Deeb. To hear more of his tracks, visit soundcloud.com slash Deeb.